Hey everybody, so today we're going to be installing the Kia Sportage tow hitch harness into our vehicle. So the parts we're going to be using here are actually Kia Genuine parts. We went ahead and we found this one online. Now, I don't know if they're selling them online yet and we just got lucky or what, but if you can't find somebody online selling this part, you should be able to go to your local Kia dealer and pick one up there. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pull this carpet out, our trunk floor, and then we're going to be pulling out also the foam holder for all of your uh, changing tire kit. So the other thing I do want to mention, when you buy the Kia kit, you also get this install diagram that let me tell you is a world of help. I had the local Kia dealer actually print us out a diagram of where all the clips and stuff were supposed to be on this vehicle. And I think maybe 30% of that was right. So this was actually more accurate than the diagram I got from the Kia dealer. So I can't stress this enough how helpful this is. You can do it without this. You just won't be knowing where the clips are when you go to start pulling everything apart. So we'll go ahead and get all this removed and then we'll jump into taking off the body parts. So we'll go ahead and start here by rolling up our carpet. And then this is going to be your trunk floor like I was talking about. It just, it pulls up and then you slide it out to you. Last thing we have here is gonna be this foam piece, which is gonna hold your jack and then the rest of your tools to be able to change your tire. This whole thing just picks right up and then comes out. After we remove this foam piece, we're gonna be good to go ahead and start taking off this back panel here and then this panel here for our rear quarter. So we'll go ahead and jump forward to that. The other thing I do wanna say is when you get that how-to list for the harness on this vehicle, it actually gives you a complete list of all the parts you're gonna need for this installation. Um, some of the parts on there are also going to be, oh sorry, not some of the parts, but some of the steps that it talks about on there is also if you're installing the hitch on your vehicle. Now this vehicle we already have the hitch installed on. If you'd like to see a video on how to install the hitch, I can kind of walk you guys through it and tell you what needs to come off and what needs to be bolted on. If you want to see something like that, just go ahead and comment down below. But for this video, we're going to be doing just the harness install. So for this panel here, you're going to have two clips like this and how you're going to get these out is you're going to put a screwdriver here. Let me get the screwdriver. You'll take your screwdriver, put it in there and just kind of twist the head and pop this up and at which point you'll grab this part here and slide it out. Now there's gonna be two of these clips located on the back side of this panel. So after you get those, go ahead and set them off to the side somewhere. And you're gonna to wanna to pull this back end here, just a little, and get your screwdriver and pop out this. This is that little trim piece that goes around the latch. After which, you just keep working it up and get your tool in here if you need to and pop up the sides. After you get this part off, it's going to expose your screw right here to get this panel off. So when this part here is done, you're done with this section of the vehicle. So when you get your Kia kit here and it is a genuine Kia product this is pretty much how your harness will come 
with your instruction manual here. So this white end here is gonna go to the plug on the vehicle. That's its fuse. This is gonna be the control module. And this is gonna be the actual side that goes to your hitch. So let's go ahead and get this panel off. I just kinda wanted to show you guys what the kit looks like and what we're working with. And we'll get the panel off. I'll kind of show you how to do it. I already have the panel off. All right, so now we're moving on to our panel over here because this is what we have to get off to be able to access all the wires we need right in here. So I went ahead and got a trim removal tool. And then if you bought the actual Kia version, I'll say I've kind of already showed you guys this manual here. But if you get the actual Kia one, they'll actually tell you where your clips are for all your panels. So this is the section we're on now, pulling this panel off. And you're going to want to get your removal tool here after you've removed your three screws. So there's going to be a screw down here at the bottom, over here, and then there's gonna be one here, right behind the lever to drop your back seat. So take your tool, and you're gonna wanna come in the corner here, and then use your diagram to kind of feel where the clip is, and then start popping them out. And then you can have a little firm pressure with this hand, kind of pulling out to help the whole thing go easier. So once you got all your clips here pulled out, there's a couple sections in here where it has some more clips. And same thing, you're just gonna pull your thing in here and pop them out. So you don't need to take the whole thing off. You can stop about right here and give you just enough room to be able to work in here to get your wiring harness. After that, you can go ahead and start doing your wiring harness and everything in here. And we'll show you that here in just a sec. All right, so we went ahead and got our control module here installed. We still need to cut our zip tie ends, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how this is gonna look when you're done. So when you first pull this panel off, this white plug here is gonna be tied up to this wire here with some cloth tape. Go ahead and cut that out, connect your wires, and then you'll have your second one here which goes to your trailer brake harness. So if you look at the directions, they tell you to cut one inch cut here on this rubber grommet to feed this through. Well, if you actually disconnect it from this side here of your control module, all you have to do is make barely the slightest cut on this side and then cut downwards on the little rubber grommet. So you'll have to pull this up And then this rubber grommet actually connects down to like right here. So you wanna cut up it like this, and then cut this way, maybe about a quarter of an inch. And you'll be able to get this connector through. So after you got that, I went ahead and taped it all back up. Go ahead and reinstall the rubber here. grommet here. Then come back up and then go ahead and zip tie your control module, pretty much any way you want. I chose here in the diagram, it shows it mounting up here. But to do that, I would have to cut the hole bigger and let more cord in. So right here is fine. I've already test fitted closing the panel here and it doesn't interfere with it. So this personally, I like it here. You know, it's I have less of a cut here to have to worry about sealing up. It doesn't interfere with anything right here. And it also gives you more cordage down here if you need it. So I'm gonna put this panel back on and then we'll go underneath the vehicle and I'll show you how to wire everything up down there. Okay, so we're under the vehicle now. And if you can see there, that's the grommet that we cut. Went ahead and put a couple zip ties along this wire here.
and then here's our end. Now, this metal piece here, I actually got when I bought the e-trailer hitch system. So that's something you'll have to get separate. It doesn't come with the kit. So what I did is after I got this all routed, I came here, centered this bracket up with this natural indent here into the bumper, drilled my hole, and then I still have to get some bolts for this, but it'll sit flush like that. And then when you're looking at it from the other side of the vehicle, it should be sitting right in the center of this divot. So that's gonna be it for the wiring on a 2023 Kia Sportage for your hitch. If you'd like to see a video on how to install the e-trailer uh, actual hitch system here, just go ahead and comment down below and I can pretty much give you guys a run through on everything that had to be done to install it. So make sure to like and subscribe. We should have some more Kia Sportage content coming up.